Hello! Tonight we're going to read a story about a little girl who's trying to find a stuffed animal to love. Do you have a stuffed animal that you love? You know, when I was little, I had a stuffed rabbit. It had a music box inside and I could twirl it and it would play a little song. And I carried it everywhere. It was really dirty and falling apart. And it was my favorite thing ever, like ever. And my little girl had a doll that she carried all over the place until it's pretty much falling apart now because we find our favorite thing and we love it. Well, this little girl in our story doesn't have one of those. And so she's trying to find one of those. And let's see what happens in Corduroy by Don Freeman. Roy was a bear who lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button on one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when the shoppers had all gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight tables, chairs, and lamps, and sofas, and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed and he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, there's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But, like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until, pop, off came the button and off the mattress, Corduroy tumbled. Bang! Onto a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was also someone else awake in the store, the night watchman, who was going on his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf with the toy department with all the other animals and dolls. Cord 
Conroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store that morning. And there, looking at him with wide, warm smiles, was the same little girl he had seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I had saved in my piggy bank. My mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up for four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside the girl size bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small Nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. I love Corduroy. I love that Lisa still believes in the magic of stuffed animals, because we should always believe in the magic of our stuffed animals and the magic in ourselves too. Have a wonderful night. Go hug your stuffed animals, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.